Most of this summer we are staying on the island of Korchula and one of the main towns on the island of Korchula is Korchula right behind me. Today we're going to walk around the old town and eat some of the local specialties. Let's go eat. Hi, we're Jeff and Angela and we're Pure Detour. This summer we are island hopping the Dalmatian coast of Croatia. Here at Konova Komin, uh, their breakfast specialty is Piadina. Piadina is actually Italian, but being right across the Adriatic, uh, you'll see that there are a lot of crossovers in Croatian and Italian food. So Piadina is a uh, homemade like flour flatbread, kind of like a quesadilla. It's stuffed with cheese and ham topped with salad, tomatoes, onions, and olives. It looks amazing. This is my first time I've ever had Piadina. I've actually never even heard of it before until we walked right up to this restaurant right now, but it is an amazing breakfast. It's so delicious. The Croatian uh, prosciutto has this very distinct smoky, salty flavor to it. It's like no other prosciutto I've had anywhere else. It's absolutely delicious. The really sweet owner here, um, says that they have this cake here, elixir cake. He says we have to try it. And we don't usually have dessert with breakfast, but why not? Seems like a good idea to me. This elixir cake uh, looks to be two kinds of ice cream covered in all this melty chocolate. Oh my gosh. That is so delicious. Like the ice cream inside is so rich, like almost custardy. And the chocolate on the outside is melty. It's not like a hard chocolate shell. That is fantastic. Okay, Angela says this is good, but as you guys know, if you watch our channel, that I am the sweet freak, so I will be the judge of whether this is good or not. Holy hell. It's good, right? Yeah, you can cut the camera off. I'm eating this whole thing. <laughs> Next up on the list is a place called Pensatore. It's supposed to be serving traditional Korchula style food. Let's give this a go. I ordered this duck breast. It came out, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the duck breast comes with butternut squash. It has a sauce of blue cheese and almonds, plums and beetroot chips. It looks delicious. That is insanely good. That duck, is cooked to a perfect medium rare. Like it's nice and pink, it's not overdone. The butternut squash is like silky and creamy. It's been like pureed into this beautiful sauce. And then it, then you can taste like this tang of the blue cheese almond sauce. It's so good. And I have ordered the Korchland style macaroni. It comes with a beef ragu. Uh, the pastas are all handmade, hand rolled. Let's give this a shot. That is fantastic. Slow cooked beef in there. It's amazing. You can taste a, just a burst of fresh thyme and rosemary in your mouth. This is delicious. I'm trying some of Jeff's macaroni here. Those noodles are gorgeous, like perfectly hand rolled, chewy, delicious. And you can taste, I think it's like nutmeg or cinnamon that they put in the sauce and it's very subtle, but it just makes the flavor so much deeper. It's fantastic. All right, we're gonna give uh, Angela's duck breast a try here. <laughs> that is stupid good. Unbelievable. The blue cheese almond sauce, uh, butternut squash. Mm -hmm. That's the word I'm looking at. I was thinking sweet potatoes I had mm -hmm. stuck in my head there. The duck itself is super tender, super delicious. This is amazing. This is called the Rojata. It's a famous dessert from the region. I believe it originates from nearby Dubrovnik, um, but they do it all over the area. It's like a creme caramel. Uh, this one is supposed to be like orange scented. Let's give this a shot. You can definitely taste that like 
beautiful bitter orange flavor. It's creamy, it's beautiful, it's delicious. That wraps us up. Pensatore, the food was outstanding. Can't say enough good things about it. Let's see what else we can get into. We are going to switch it up a little bit. We've done a lot of Croatian food since we've been in Croatia. We're going Asian this time. This is silly. I ordered this cocktail. It seems right up my alley. Tequila and wasabi. It's called a harikiri. Uh, hoping it's not too spicy being named after a Japanese ritualistic suicide. I'm going to try these. I might make a mess. Excuse me in advance. These are sumai. So steamed pork dumplings with truffle oil. The smell coming off of these things is unbelievable. Number one, that chili is actually spicy, which is amazing. Two, you don't usually get truffle oil with Asian flavored, Asian themed food. So this is very different, but extremely good. All right, this is my shot at the Suma. <laughs> A little bit of heat coming off the chili pepper there. It's different. Like Angela said, the truffle oil is kind of unexpected. It's not something you would expect with a dumpling, especially an Asian style dumpling, but they are fantastic. So this is the crispy duck that we've got. We've made a little wrap out of it. The freshness of the veggies, the little wraps that they have for them. Crispy duck is fantastic. It's so crunchy. It's so crispy. It's, I want to say it's a tamarind based sauce. It's sweet. It's savory all at the same time. This is delicious. Crispy duck roll. I love anything in the Mushu style where I can make a little burrito shaped thing. Amazing. Oh wow, crispy smoky dust. Crispy smoky duck. Sweet sauce, crunchy veggies, beautiful. All right, we got this crispy pork belly, a little piece of kimchi on top. Let's go. Mm. So, if there is one thing that I know for sure in life, is that you can't go wrong with pork belly. Okay, so. Let me give this pork belly a try here. Here's the thing, a little piece of fat. If you know of a meat product out there that is better than pork and pork fat, pork belly, pork any way you can want to slice it, this is the greatest thing ever. This is so good. We demolished that food. Silk restaurant here in Croatia. I'm a little bit surprised about the quality of the Asian food that we're getting here in Croatia. I'm so glad. So this place is called Kukuran, and I'm extremely excited about this because it is a breakfast time right now and it looks like we have at least one thing here that's going to be extremely sweet. I'm looking forward to this. So the first little thing we're going to start off with here is the namesake of the little bakery. This is a Kukuran. It's a simple, basic, traditional cookie. Is it good? Uh, sweet. Yeah. 
I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting more hard and crunchy-ish on the outside, like a scone kind of thing, and it's not. This is fantastic. It's another very traditional cookie from the area. It's called Klashun, and I'm going to open it up. And inside you have this filling. It's walnuts and raisins. Inside, what I think is a similar dough to the first uh, Kukurin cookie. Let's give that a try. The filling inside of there, the walnuts and the raisin is like really, really moist. It's like they pureed the raisins in with the walnuts and it's nutty and it's sweet and it's moist. This is amazing. This is amaretta. Uh, the only thing that is in this is almonds, eggs, and sugar. That's it. Let's give it a try. Hmm. That is good. This one is called Harubitsa. It looks kind of like a little cupcake, like a little muffin. Uh, it's supposed to have walnuts in it. I think this is like an orange marmalade, little candied oranges on top. I'm just so surprised at how moist everything is from here. A lot of times you see these cookies and you expect them to be crunchy and hard, and this is just like a delicious, moist, walnut-flavored muffin with this gorgeous jam on top. So good. This we saved for the very last, and for me to do, uh, this is a Marco Polo Bombiza. Um, to my understanding, it's sugar, eggs, walnuts, and chocolate. And That's, butter. And, and butter. <laughs> That's all. Uh, Angela's probably not going to get any of this, so that's why I'm doing it right now. Oh my god. Bitch. It's almost like a chocolate ganache that's on the inside of it. This is unbelievable. Look at this Marco Polo Bombita. It's like melty and chocolatey. Jeff seems to like it, so. Like a chocolate walnut ganache paste. It almost tastes like a chocolate walnut ice cream, but it's not melty like that. My goodness. If you are here in Korchula, definitely stop by Kukurin. Uh, that place came highly recommended and I can see why. There's a reason they're doing the traditional stuff and they're doing it really great. Next up on this Korchula food tour is a place called Largo. Great music going on, let's check it out. Pasta, today is all about pasta. And that once again, this hand rolled macaroni that this island is famous for. This time it has prosciutto, shrimp, and a truffle sauce with mushrooms. It's good. Those macaroni are just beautiful. You can tell they're handmade. They're like chewy and firm and that truffle sauce is rich and delicious. And this is a handmade ravioli stuffed with venison and topped with a little cranberry that's on top of it and some sauce that I don't know what it is. That's awesome. I still don't know what this sauce is, but the raviolis are made perfectly. The venison has the gaminess to it, the cranberry tanginess and sweetness of the cranberries on top of it. This is fabulous. Uh, giving this ravioli a shot with the venison and cranberries. Oh, that is really interesting. The, the homemade pasta is delicious. The venison is, is very tender and that nice tang of that cranberry really kind of sets it all up. So I am trying out Angela's pasta here with the prosciutto and the shrimp, mushrooms and a truffle sauce going on here. Let's give it a shot. I love these little <clears throat> homemade macaronis that they do here on Portugal. They're fantastic. Prosciutto is delicious. The shrimps are, honestly, they're just little salad shrimps, but they're tasty. And the best part about this dish for me is Angela is not a big fan of mushrooms, so I get all of them.
That is going to wrap up this Gorchula food tour here. There's definitely food here worth checking out if you're in town. So you guys be sure to like and subscribe so you can follow along to see what we eat next. See you later.